Ruth waited for her Boaz. She wouldn't just settle for anybody. The Bible said Boaz was a handsome man, a rich man, a spiritual man, a sensitive man, and that equals a husband. You gotta wait. You gotta wait on your Boaz. Don't just settle. But, but if you're not careful when you go left and it's Friday night and you don't have a date and you're freaking out, I, I don't have a date. I can, I, I can, I didn't get married until I was 25. And you know, I just made a decision. I knew there was a call on my life and I just said, I'm not gonna go out and date just anybody and everybody. Cause I know me. Don't freak out because it's Friday night and you're in Saturday night and you're in church instead of the club. <laughs> Boaz has some relatives and if you don't watch it, you won't get the one God has for you. You'll get his relatives. To the girls, I found this on the internet. He has, Boaz is spelled B-O-A-Z. Everybody say B-O-A-Z. And so he's got some relatives called broke ass, po ass, lying ass, cheating ass, dumb ass, drunk ass, don't go out with him, cheap ass, turn to somebody and say, I dated him, locked up ass, good for nothing ass, lazy ass, and especially his third cousin beating your ass. Wait on your bo ass and make sure he respects your ass. Now there's your word. You wanted a word? You got a word. Quit dating anything on two legs. Let God take you through some loneliness. Let God take you through the wilderness. So that when they come, you'll be ready. I'm almost... I'm not even going to look back at Pastor Hagee. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not, he asked me to come. That's his problem. 